The X-Men are launching into a whole new era. We've got Destiny of X coming up, and obviously the 10 lives and deaths of Wolverine is leading into all this. We've got Inferno out of the way. This is the next big hurdle, I guess, to get into this new era of X-Men. Here to talk with me about that is the X-Men historian, the Marvel aficionado himself. Doc, how you doing, buddy? What is up, brother? Thanks for having me, and uh, let's do this damn thing. So we got 10 lives of Wolverine, number one. I think it's 10 lives. It doesn't matter. X lives, whatever you want to call it. Ben Percy, Josh Sarah. I had expectations. I, I figured it would be pretty good. You know, I thought maybe Ben Percy had been taking it easy on Wolverine and X-Force so we could load up an amazing comic book story here. And that is not what I got, Doc. What did you No, think? I got a meandering mess that doesn't make any sense. It's a weird mashup of Age of Apocalypse and Terminator, the whole franchise. And also the uh, Age of Ultron uh, story from Bendis that came out around the time the movie did that made no connection at all to the movie with Wolverine randomly time traveling for, you know, funsies. So let's talk about this Wolverine randomly tram traveling. And we got some other stuff to talk about. This there is some major league cringe in this comic book we got to get to as well. But Wolverine using Cerebro. Yeah. How the fuck does that work? It doesn't. It doesn't. That's that's the answer. It does it, and Ben Ber Percy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And hey, Jordan White, his editor, also doesn't know what he's doing. And we get a lot more examples of that today that we'll discuss when we get to it. So this is what the story is, is that Omega Red has decided because he discovered that the X-Men or the mutants on Krakoa implanted that heart, that uh, heart thing with the tracker on it, that he's going to go throughout time and kill Charles Xavier before at, at some point in his life. Yeah. Um, apparently, Omega Red gets to because they put a low jack in the carbonadium synthesizer that they stuck inside of him. Um, he gets to magically manifest time travel powers and the ability to uh, kind of possess people. Yeah, so, it's like that Denzel watching a movie with John Goodman. Remember that yeah, one? Yeah. Yeah. He's all my, it is yeah. just jumping. It's, it's yeah. like a demon now. Yeah, I think it was a fallen. I think it was. Yes. Um. Yeah, no, none of this is within the power sets of the characters that they're using here. Yeah, this is this this story is if you if you like just action with no story, I think that's kind of acceptable. I'll read a comic book like that, but this is just action with a really stupid story. And there are a couple of cringe moments when you read this comic book. Oh, the God, one that yeah. stands out the most in my mind. I know a lot of people have been pointing to the point we have Wolverine holding Charles Xavier saying it's okay Chuck as being laughable but I laughed even harder with Charles Xavier's mom mom is holding the baby covered in shotgun. blood with god damn it doc you're you're spoiling me here oh. she's still got the umbilical cord in her pussy and is holding the shotgun on Omega Red and I, it's, it was laugh out loud you couldn't do anything but laugh at it because it was so fucking stupid it was. Oh, my God. I, I looked at that. I'm like, really? Really? This is you need. Oh, my God. That Ben, look, dude, I get it. You want to be a male feminist. But for fuck's sake, this is just fucking cringy, man. It, it was just it looks so stupid. I feel bad for Joshua Casera, who's a good comic book artist, hasn't really had that big vehicle to get his name up there and maybe become a superstar. I don't know that. That's in the stars for him, but pages like this are going to make him a joke his entire career. He's always going to have this piece of art, this piece of stupid fucking art attached to his name, and he can never get rid of it now. Yeah. Um, none of this. Look, nothing about this. This this book was good. Honestly, I didn't even think Josh. I, I, again, I am not a big the biggest Joshua Casera fan. I think he's competent as an artist i am not a big fan of his but this he didn't even do i, I saw issues of x-force that he did better work on maybe it's because this is a double-sized issue maybe that's and he was rushing to get through it but 
You know what? It doesn't read like a double size issue. No, it doesn't. It reads, it reads like, like ten minutes, and it's fucking six dollars. Yeah. Um. No, this this comic is bad. When did Cerebro allow time travel? I don't that, know. I, that's, I guess he's going back in time and possessing his old bodies. That's not how Cerebro works. Well, he Cere- watched the the uh, Days of Future Past movie and decided that's the Marvel Comics universe. And where the fuck's Kitty then to 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 make him slip through time? It wasn't in the movie, Doc. Oh, oh wait, yeah. it was in the movie. Yeah, she yeah. was. She was in there with yeah, the she. She was in there. She was well, holding him. You got him. Cerebro. You got the fucking Deuce Ex Machina right there. The MacGuffin. You don't need to. You don't need to actually write a story that makes any sense. You can just throw the Cerebro in there and be like, "That's a power set." Yeah, some fucking blue suitcase bullshit. No, this is <clears throat> no. This is this. None. Nothing. Not a single plot aspect of this comic actually has any like. Um, canonical basis to it. it. It's it's just make shit up on the fly. We want to write this story, and we will shove more square pegs into round holes than you could possibly imagine to make it happen. It doesn't matter whether or not it makes any fucking sense because you know what? This comic doesn't make any goddamn sense. No, it's just it's stupid fan service. You're getting to see him back in his days with, uh, you know, what was the team with 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 Maverick? T Max, T Max. You get to see him kind of like in the old man. I don't know. It's not old man. It's the uh, the no. It's X Men wor- origin, origin Wolverine origin story and all yeah. that stuff. It's it doesn't work. It's just it's so frustrating. And this storyline, the one thing that they've that they, I guess they plot they planted the seeds for this. And the low jack on on Omega Red, they haven't fucking mentioned this in I don't know a year, uh, probably even longer. Uh, but yeah, I no, forgot about it. I, I I completely forgot about it because it hasn't been a usable plot point to this point. Like nothing about this comic really matters. I mean, look, this this is just a another issue of x-force except for goofier and it made less sense this isn't nearly as good as x-force has been and x-force hasn't been all that great lately i look the, i just the, the only part of this comic that made sense is when actual omega red like wanders into russia and like kills a bunch of soldiers that don't know yeah that's yeah. that's it the, there was and like then you got pages. uh Pieter's brother, that's his the the big reel at the end. Yeah, Mikhail um you know basically being like, yeah, uh yeah, welcome back to Russia, guy that I've never had any uh history dealing with and the only thing I have in common with is being Russian. So apparently what I'm taking out of this comic book is this is going to be Omega Red basically as the Terminator going back in time to kill Charles Xavier at different points in his life. And then Wolverine apparently using Cerebro to transport himself back in time so he can protect Charles. And then in the, the 10 lo- deaths of Wolverine, it's going to be when he failed, right? Yeah. Maybe perhaps maybe who the fuck knows, honestly, at this point, uh, what, what's this going to do? Establish that there's been mutant resurrection even longer than, than, you know, the last couple of years. Fuck this. Fuck this comic. Is anyone excited about this? I know they end up having to give away the very first issue on Marvel Unlimited before it really even came out. And those normally don't come out onto the that platform, I, I think, for at least three months. It kind of seemed yeah. desperate to me. Like, maybe Look, people weren't sa- buying this. Sales on this, my understanding, are not all that great. Uh, pre-orders on it, like the actual orders from the store not what they expected they're not at the level that they expected i don't know i mean i guess we'll find out whenever you know somebody releases fake numbers on comics on comicron because at this point there's no real numbers to be had so i'm betting look that that's that's kind of a big tell for me that the sales on this were the pre-orders on it were not very good and they're really desperate to get people to 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 buy in well, I don't think 
you know, Jordan White and maybe Marvel, they didn't realize just how like dull Wolverine and X Force. Obviously, Ben Percy's the writer for those stories. It's featuring this character. They, they, they've sucked lately. They have not been good. X Men as a whole has been really, really bad. It, it's not like he's a hot name right now. He he wasn't. He's not a name really in the industry. I like Ben Percy, but they expect this dude to sell on on his name alone when you've been kind of ruining Wolverine for six, seven, eight months now. Yeah. Um. No. The, look. This 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 book was. I think that they're looking at the internal X Force and Wolverine numbers and not realizing that the vast majority of the readers that are still sticking around are there from the promise of the first 12 issues and not the results of the last 12 issues. Well, they um, might be completionists. This isn't part of an X Force yeah. run. This isn't part of a Wolverine run. Yeah. Well, what it's I mean just extra is bullshit. What I mean is we're all we've been hoping for the last year that all the shit that we started getting promised in the first you know year of the book we'd actually get some payoff on before it got you know derailed by all the stupid you know dinner parties and fucking you know charades tournaments um that we'd actually get back to that stuff and people are slowly dipping out of both of those books and i think this was meant to revitalize it and it's not doing it so far no and for 6 bucks man it is like no, uh, no, they should be giving this away for on Marvel Unlimited like they did. This is a, at best preview. Yeah, this is at best a two star comic. Um, that's, I think that's generous. I don't think there's this fucking story here. Well, there's not, but you know the action scenes weren't bad, even if they don't the make any fucking sense. <laughs> yeah, even if even if they don't make any. If you just sense. look at the pictures, it's not nearly as terrible of, of, a, of an experience of a comic book. If you look at the pictures it. and you don't try to make sense of it, then then it's then it's not a terrible comic. But yeah, two stars at best on this book. I, I, I just want it to be over. Look, the <clears throat> the this was this was X Lives of Wolverine. Um all I gotta say is X Deaths of Wolverine better be a much, much better fucking story than this because he he wanders around the uh late victorian era some house and fight somebody that's apparently able to randomly uh not only possess people but give them his powers um uh, and then all of a sudden he wakes up in team x world so nothing makes sense nothing matters and no one cares the X-Men line isn't the only thing that's struggling right now. Marvel Comics do not know what to do with Captain America. They they announced their, their plans. There's going to be two Captain Americas. If you haven't heard the news and you haven't heard my rant, you definitely want to check this out because Marvel is screwing things up left and right.